Hey guys, welcome to the Franchise Ranker. Today we're going to be ranking the Dark Knight movies. Um, I really like the Dark Knight trilogy, and I think Christopher Nolan did a great job with directing all three of the Dark Knight movies. So today we're going to be ranking them, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to make a video in a while. I've been quite busy, just got a job and stuff. But uh, I'm finally able to make a video for you guys, and I'm probably going to pre-record a couple other videos so I can post them on a regular schedule, because that's what I really want to do. I really want to get a regular schedule for you guys. It's just that sometimes I get busy and it's like, ugh, I don't, I ain't got time to make a video. But um, I'm making a video for you guys right now, and it's time for us to stop and rank all three of the Dark Knight movies. So coming in last place, but certainly not least, is The Dark Knight Rises. Now, The Dark Knight Rises, it's not a bad movie by any stretch. It's just that this movie took, well, it didn't really take the stakes higher. It just took the craziness higher. Like, the scene where Bane is at a football field and literally blows it up. For, that's just an example of something that happens in this movie. And uh, this movie gets wacky. Uh, they trap all the cops underground. They got Gotham City surrounded and about to blow it up. And honestly, sometimes it's just a little too wacky for the Dark Knight movies, especially. But not to say it's not a good movie. Uh, it has it has other few wacky moments, like when Ra's al Ghul pops up when Bruce Wayne's trying to escape the like prison or whatever and that was kind of I was like oh that that scene kind of was weird to me uh and then there's another weird uh scene where or not a weird scene but just a weird twist where we find out one that they put in charge of way enterprises was Talia al Ghul which was also really weird I don't know it, it was a decent twist but I don't know it, to me it kind of felt like they just drop Bane down a level once we found out he wasn't the ringleader of all this. That was just me. I feel like the movie would have been okay without the twist. But, I mean, all in all, though, it's still not a bad movie. And this movie will get a 7 out of 10 for me. So, coming in second place is Batman Begins. Now, Batman Begins is actually a really good movie. Um, we kind of get to see Batman progress on his way to becoming a superhero, and that's something I really like. And that's something I feel like they use to humanize Batman a lot. Um, because Batman, a lot of times in media, is just shown to be this dark, brooding man, which he is. He is in these movies, he is. That's what Batman is. But... I feel like Batman Begins really helped show the human side of Batman, showing him work up to being this superhero, this super like not superpower, but this super powerful person, and that shows his journey and that he didn't just become Batman; he had to work up to it. And it's, I, I kind of like how he has the little homemade costume almost at first. Almost Your surroundings. <laughs> What is necessary? I won't kill you. But I don't have to save you. Like, truly how Batman should be and how I think Batman should be represented in, um, represented in most media. It just really humanizes Batman. So this movie gets an 8 out of 10 for me. So coming in first place is a movie that 
you probably guessed was going to be here. The Dark Knight, the original. Um, there's really not much you could say about this movie other than it's an amazing movie. Um, Joker, one of the best villains of all time, Heath Ledger. I'm pretty, I, 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 I don't remember exactly that. I know Heath Ledger died there before the movie came out or when it was in post-production. So he never got to see his movie come up. But we do know that Heath Ledger did an amazing job as the Joker. Uh, he was a very compelling villain. Very t sick and twisted, just killing people randomly. Uh, honestly, I thought the Joker was pretty funny at some points. Um, I like his little pin disappearing trick where he just slams a dude's head into the table. Uh, the interrogation scene with Joker really shows his craziness. Um, we also get another villain, Two Face. You know Harvey Dent, and I think Harvey Dent also has like a pretty compelling like origin in this movie. We see. You know him get like the, the building get blown up and then half of his face get, or half of his body gets burnt and we get to see you know him coping with that and we get to see Harvey Dent's descent into craziness and pretty much stoop into the level of Joker and I just really love this movie it's a classic movie um Joker was like pretty much is the best foil to Batman in this movie. And he really shows that throughout his, with all of his schemes and antics, which Batman's just trying to figure out, and him trying to assassinate Jim Gordon, which we thought Jim Gordon died for a minute, but then turns out in the end, Jim Gordon did not die, and Joker's plan to kill him failed. So, all in all, this is an amazing movie. It gets a 9.5 out of 10 for me. It's a classic movie. It's probably the best superhero movie of all time and that's why the dark knight is number one in the dark and height trilogy anyway guys that's the video i hope you guys have a good one um i'm trying to make weekly or scheduled weekly uploads i'm really trying i'm just really busy um i think maybe my next video will be friday the 13th the game gameplay I'm going to get some of that gameplay up for y'all, and hopefully I can do some more stuff in the future. Anyway, guys, I'd like, uh, I hope you would like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.